Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Simple Whatnots and Kim Deal and mini quilts. Whatever. Basically, I, I was never a fan of reproduction prints in fabric or Civil War type prints. Never, never a fan. Until 2019 when I saw KT Favorites 2019 by Kansas Trouble Quilters from Moda. I absolutely fell in love with this fabric. Just to kind of give you an idea. Um, I actually have a layer cake and a fat quarter because I wanted to do a specific pattern, um, which of course I haven't gotten around to and not sure when I will. But I do have the layer cake and the fat quarter. I love this. And then I realized, no, I don't like it all. But some of it I actually do really like. And last year I saw, well, actually earlier this year, I saw a Kim Deal Simple Whatnots Club 9. And, of course, it was too late at that point to get in on the club. I didn't know if I wanted to get in on the club. I didn't know much about mini quilts. I didn't know if I'd like making mini quilts. And I didn't know if I'd like all the fabric. So I kind of wanted to just give it a try. So I found a pattern for uh, one of her Simple Whatnot Club um, 9. I found one of the patterns. It's called This Way. I think it's called This Way and That. So I saw this pattern and I was like, okay, I'm going to try to make it. So I just went down to my local quilt store and looked at their reproduction fabrics. Now there were, there were various ones, right? So, um, some were Kim deal and there was a couple that I got that might not have been, but they all kind of went and blended together. And, um, I also had... A little bit of fabric in my stash. Um, I think I used uh, some of my stash fabric. Um, like this print here came from my stash. This came from my stash. This green came from my stash. This this yellow came from my stash. This red, this blue came from my stash. Um, I purchased this. I purchased the background. I purchased this green. I purchased this green. I purchased this orange print here. I purchased this teal print. Um, but again, so some came from my stash because I just had like a ton of fat quarters that I had gotten literally 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. Um, I think I was shopping on eBay and I had gotten like a ton of fat quarters. And right when that happened, I um, had I had to stop quilting basically um, because I was I had gotten pregnant and I was having another child and I did not have space to keep my sewing machine up and it wasn't realistic for me to drag my machine and all my projects out um, and then put it all back because I was so busy as a working you know working full time and a, and a mother of three that I did not have time I, I might have had maybe an hour an hour and a half and to spend 30 to 45 minutes of that dragging everything out and then putting it all back was just too cumbersome. So I just stopped for a while, but I had all the, I still had all the, all that fabric. So I used some of those plus what I, what I purchased and I made this little quilt that I showed you and I, and I liked it. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do simple whatnot, simple whatnot club 10, simple whatnots club 10. But you know, it was kind of pricey, you know, per month. It was like, you know, $28 a month plus shipping. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it at my local quilt store. I'm going to see if my local quilt store has it. And so that same local quilt store that I went to buy the fabric to make the mini quilt, I asked them about it. And COVID was raring at that time. And we were, they were like, we don't know, but you know, keep in contact with us. And so I did. And um, still, I think it was November and they were like, we don't know. We don't know. 
we might get it we might not get it if we get it we don't know when we're getting it and they didn't have any pricing either so they couldn't even be like this is what it's going to cost so i looked at some some different options it was another local quilt store that was doing a program where you paid 80 dollars and you got a tutorial and you got the pattern um, for you know, so I guess there were there were eight monthly meetings and each meeting was a tutorial and they would give you the pattern and it was eighty dollars and I was like uh, maybe, but you know I gotta feel like I'm you know I don't, I don't like to feel like I'm overpaying I'm I have a large stash but I'm I'm frugal with with my fabric you know um, if I can get it at a lower price it means I can buy more so looking 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 and i had seen a thing where someone was offering a half yard of each print there's 30 prints in the line and they were offering a half yard of each print um and it was 160 dollars and you got to choose four of the patterns and that was part of the purchase and i was like i don't know I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want to do. And so I didn't do it. And then I think I went back to look at it and it was sold out. So I was like, okay, well, that's out. Well, looking on Etsy, I found an Etsy shop, Kimberly's Fabric Stash, and she was offering something similar. Um, for $165.99, you got a half yard of each of the 30 prints and you got all eight patterns. I was like, sold. I'm in I'm in because I'm a math brained person and so I went to the simple whatnots club website or Henry glass I should say I went to the Henry glass website and I pulled um, all of the fabric requirements for all of the projects and I used my math brain and I was able to calculate that a half yard was plenty for most of these fabrics for most of these fabrics, a half of a yard is more than enough to do all eight projects. Like fabric to spare. And that there will be a couple of prints, um, especially the background prints. I might need some background or um, I might need, uh, there might be a couple of prints that I might have needed more of. Okay. So it comes. Um, so the fabric comes. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you the prints. It's kind of weird because I I kitted it all up, but I'm, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, so these are the prints. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is a, this is an old one, so this is from a different line. Seventeen. Oh, that's pigs. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty three. 24, 25. and this is 25. Those are all of the colored prints. The rest of them are background. So there's five background prints. There's this one, this one, this one, this one. And 
this one here. So what I did was I, I pulled out the stack, you know, gave them, I didn't even, I think when I first started, I didn't even press them. I just kind of folded them and I started cutting. Um, the way she does the yardage is um, she has back, the, the, the biggest piece, well, I'll take that back. So, of course, you've got your standard yardage, right? If you need half a yard, quarter yard, third yard, whatever. But for her, you know, pieces, she's got fat eighths, fat quarters, skinny eighths, uh, chubby sixteenths, and some something with a brick, bitty bricks, right? So a bitty brick is basically half of a fat sixteenth, and the fat sixteenth is basically half of a fat eighth. So what I did was I kitted everything up. So I went on the website and I printed all of the fabric requirements and I kitted everything up from the fabric, right? So I just kind of made a little kit. That way, as I'm using the fabric and I'm making a project, I don't have to keep folding the fabric up and taking it back out for the next fabric project folding it up and taking it back out for the next project this way I pretty much dealt with all of the fabric everything is cut um so here's one of the pack fabrics called laugh yourself you need five fat eighths of assorted cream prints so what I did was I looked at the actual cutting instructions and said no I really don't need a fat eighth right because I'm not doing scrappy backgrounds. I am going to do a consistent background for the most part for all of these quilts. So I just used, I took one of my half yards, right? Because five fat eighths is what? Five eighths of a yard. And looking at the cutting instructions, yeah, half a yard is more than enough. I'm going to use ha half a yard. And so just made up the little kit for myself. And I did that for each of the projects. So this one is called In and Out. I've got my background and all of my prints cut and then I can just kind of put this in a bag put it away and then I can work on one project at a time while I'm you know when I feel like it without having to deal with 30 half yards of fabric because each of these projects uses all of those prints so like if not all 30 25 to 28 of them right so these are all the different you know skinny eighths you need for this right like all of these different skews so um not only that but then having to remember which was which like you know cutting them all up and i was like okay you know i i'm not gonna do that so i just cut everything up one time and just took you know two days and got everything separated and kitted up for me and I think what I'm going to do is as I make these um, I'm going to share it with you guys so I have started cutting one of the kits already um, and so that pattern I believe is called kick the can yeah it is kick the can is the first one that I've done so I basically cut up everything except for the background and um I'm gonna start piecing that probably not for another week or so I'm not I'm not certain but just kind of wanted to share that with you I think that um, if you're interested in simple whatnots club 10 um, if you or even if you're not and you just are interested in the gratitude and grace fabric line um, this is a great place to get it. Uh, Kimberly's Fabric Stash. Um, all half yard cuts of all 30 prints. And $165.99 for all 30. Plus you get the eight. Um, the eight uh, patterns for Simple Whatnots Club 10. Um, when you consider the cost of fabric, um, even... Well, the cost of fabric is going up, but some places haven't gone up yet. Fat Quarter Shop is still selling theirs at ten ninety eight a yard, which is a very competitive price, and they do half yards as well. So if you wanted to go that route, that would be ten ninety eight times you know 
15 yards, it's um, going to cost you more than um, getting it from Kimberly's Fabric Stash. So if you are actually interested in getting every print in the line, um, I think this is a good way to go about it. And even if you don't want to make the mini quilts, you'll have the patterns. But even if you don't want to make them, it's still a really competitive price for this fabric. So that is all I have for today. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. So I forgot, I forgot to tell you how much fabric I have left over after cutting everything, right? So these are fat quarters that are left over, okay? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So 16 fat quarters left over, okay? Plus uh, some other, so this is, a nice large piece of fabric but it's not a full fat quarter but still pretty pretty large piece of fabric there and then I also had I was also able to cut some two and a half inch strips um, so these are two and a half by 18 is what they are oh no sorry two and a half by 22 or 21 basically like a two and a half inch cut from a fat quarter so I was able to cut these. There's a you know a few of those. Um, so tons of fabric left. So I have enough fat quarters left from all of my backings for this project. So again, super great deal. Kim deal, get it? Great deal, Kim deal. No, not funny. Yeah. Thanks again. Have a great day.